guys what is going on it is obadiah and today we are back playing some primitive plus on the island so uh if you guys do enjoy these videos do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and feel free to subscribe and share so today i want to do something that is a massive massive part of this mod i want to do some farming um i mean this the primitive plus plus mod is practically a farming simulator it's definitely very role play based it's definitely very much about farming and stuff so let's check it out so i've been gathering seeds Nope, that's not them. Seeds in here. Um, so there's 21 different types of seeds, and we're going to do, I think, two of each, which means uh, 42 crop plots, which I have already built. Where are they? Uh, building. Crop, 42 crop plots. I've also built a bunch of uh, da -da -da -da, concrete foundations, ceilings, pillars, so that way we can lay a building, kind of like a giant greenhouse. We still need to go get some more crystal, which is such a pain to get. Oh my gosh, it's such a pain. Because uh, I think we do want to make it a greenhouse. We have to run irrigation, lay down the crop plots. We got all the seeds, and we got this thing making fertilizer. So to get fertilizer in Primitive Plus, you, you can make some. It's called Bone Meal Fertilizer, and you can do it with keratin, rotten meat, hide, and charcoal. So I've made about, I don't know, three or four hundred of that. I've been having it crap. So we can fill up all of our crops with full fertilizer from the very start. Also, if we have time, we may get into making an apiary um, so we can get some beehives. We got some drone bees and some queen bees and get some honey out of it. Could be super cool. I also have some le uh, hide turning into leather, which we can use to make uh, the new guns and weapons and stuff. So we got all sorts of stuff going on. I can't. I think we're going to try to put the farm here. It's gonna, it might be a little difficult because of the slope. I don't know. Uh, I may try it first with thatch. If not, we'll do it here. But I'm going to go ahead and start getting stuff set up. And uh, then I will bring you guys back. All right, guys. So we have laid down the thatch foundation. Originally, we were going to do it over there. We're going to do it here. We also changed the size of it. So it is one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five by nine. We're going to do two crop plots and then an empty one and then two crop plots. That way, there's a nice aisle right down the middle. So that means we can do four in each row, and four times nine is 36. So even though we originally intended for 42, we're gonna do 36. We're gonna drop the unnecessary berries, the Tinto berries, the Amber berries, and the, uh, and the Azul berries, which we're gonna eat right now because we are too lazy to walk down to the river to get some water. And that'll keep us alive for just a moment longer. <laughs> eat all the berries. All right, so um, I've, I think, I don't know. I mean, I try to make it as big as possible without being too intrusive. Um, all right, yeah, I'll eat more of this. Come on, here we go. Uh, there we go. Um, and I think that that's a good size. And that'll allow us to do two of everything. So the next step is to go ahead and start laying down the concrete. So let's go into building and let's transfer all this stuff. And I might need to make some more. Oh, it's full. Okay, concrete. We'll take this, this, and this. And uh, then we will drop this, this. Oops, not the pick. I want the pick back. Uh, take the pick back. And we'll drop all these. I guess I don't need to drop it because we're not we're not burdened. So, let's do concrete foundations first and then ceilings. So, there's a problem with the pillars in Primitive Plus. The lumber pillars at least... Oh, look, I'm already dehydrated again. The lumber pillars at least seem to just disappear after you place them. Um, I don't know if the same thing is with concrete. If it is, we may have to have to go with regular stone pillars, which would be fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk through. Oh yeah, oh that looks ugly as heck, hanging off like that. And but I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up. Now, can we do this thing with thatch? Oh, son of a. Where we can throw a ceiling on top? Yeah, so we may do ceilings on top of everything to make it an even look. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace all this with concrete, and then I will bring you guys back. All right, guys, so I've replaced all the thatch with cement, and I really pillared this sucker. That one won't work for some reason, but besides that, I've put a pillar everywhere that can possibly be one, both because that kind of looks cool, but also just for keep it as sturdy as possible. But what that's created on top is all these freaking things sticking up everywhere, so I think I might actually do a second layer of ceilings? Like, no. Like so. Will it actually let me do that around the whole thing? Let's test it out, because that would be awesome. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna have to go make a bunch more ceilings, but then I'm gonna layer it that way so it all looks nice and even. 
All right, guys, I went ahead and put a ramp along the front and replaced the entire top with ceilings, added some more on top. So there's a little gap there, you see, but it looks nice and even on top. So I started making the greenhouse stuff. Um, so I want to place some, I don't, oh, why is it so bright? Gamma, gamma down. Um, why is that obstructed? Please don't be obstructed. Please don't be some stupid, some stupid problem. Okay. So right, nope, up, nope, up, tall, right there. Perfect, the door, right in the middle. So we just walk in like so. Um, we're gonna need tons and tons of crystal. It's not super easy to come by, especially since we have no flyers on the server. But I do want to get the first layer of walls down. That way, oh, up. That way I can start placing the crop plots and know that I'll still be able to place walls. You know what I mean? So that way I don't have to worry about them being too close to the edge and then walls not being able to be placed and all that. Uh, I don't think I made enough, quite enough walls. I ran out of cementing paste, so I think I'm gonna have to go up and hit up some, some more beaver dams. Um, Cause I've been making some with like the chitin I've been finding, but, and we are pretty close to a, a one of those chitin full caves, but, uh, ooh, oh, we're so close. Three more, look at that, two more. Two more, we would've had enough for this, this layer. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more cementing paste. I'm gonna make some more greenhouse stuff. This thing is gonna be massive. And uh, then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and finished up the first layer of the wall and laid down all the crop plots. Um, now I wanna go ahead and seed everything. So I already have all the seeds we need. There's 18 different kinds. The other three of the three berries we're not doing. Um, so I'm thinking I'll do two of each one. We'll just do, you know, two, four, six, like so. Um, I'm guessing in the front, I want the normal stuff we always use. So let's do a, a rock carrot and a rock carrot and then we'll drop the rest of the rock carrot seeds that way we can keep track of what we've already done uh what else do we got we will do a savarut and a savarut and then we'll drop those so i'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this but there's some cool stuff look there's cashew coffee cabbage tea uh, camellia tea tobacco tomatoes so there's gonna be all sorts of cool stuff um, so i'm gonna lay everything down and then bring you guys back all right, guys, so I've got all the crop plots seeded. Now it's a matter of irrigation. Um, so I'm gonna lay down, I think I'm just gonna do it right in the middle like this. Oh, trying to get this straight might be kind of a pain, but we'll do the best that we can. The first one's really the one that matters. Uh, like so? Like so? I don't know. Okay, where's, can we like see like the seam? between the foundations. All right, honestly, we're gonna have to eyeball it and just kind of hope that it's awesome. My water pipe is obstructed. Oh, am I standing on it? Okay. I'm thinking, does that look straight? No. Oh, no, too much. A little bit. Like that? Like that? And move it over? No. <laughs> I think it's like that. Oh, it doesn't seem right either. Okay. Let's go with that. Let's go one. Oh, we laid it down. Oh, that already feels not straight. Yep, that's definitely not. No, <laughs> look at that. It's all off kilter. Are we, in, are we even gonna be able to get to the place where we can actually see it? Large crop plot, large crop plot. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Okay, we might just have to live with it. Oh, look at that, it's so close to straight. Oh, it means it's gonna be messed up on both sides too. <sighs> the frustration is real. All right, but nonetheless, we move forward. And this one's gonna be worse as well. But, nonetheless, <coughs> we move forward. So after this, I have to go ahead and get the uh, intake made. Look how, look how off that is now. I should have done it in the sky like I normally do, like up here above our heads. Ugh, but it's all right, because it's still gonna be great. We're gonna do in between each group of four of these, we're gonna throw one of these. Um, I don't really care too much about the position of them. And then that should cover, I believe, everything. And that's those four, and we got one here. 
okay. And on this side as well. I mean, it, it, okay, it's, no, it's not going to be perfect. But I think we can live with that. All right, guys, so we have fully fertilized everything. Oh, we already have a little seedling. Check it out. We already have a little grape seed. <laughs> I've fully fertilized every single one, all the way filled up to the max, all 10. And that should last us quite a long time. So all we have left to do now is work on building out the rest of the greenhouse, which is going to take an insane amount of crystal. But that is going to be for another day. For today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and share. Uh, you can also hit me up on all your social media, your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, or even Google+. And, yeah, and you can usually find me just by searching Obadiah X. You can also uh, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiah X. Anyways, guys, like I said, for today, that is going to be it. I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.